Hey gang, today I'm hiding out in my Thai Monstera, <laughs> for good reason. Um, we need to find this guy a new home, basically. This Monstera needs a new home, it's been sat on the floor, basically in a walkway for way too long. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today, but before we do that, I need to do another task, and that is... I'm chopping up that guy. Finally, finally, the day has come. I have been talking about chopping up this Monstera for so long. And every time I've been like, yep, yeah, gonna do it. Today's the day. It starts pushing out a new leaf. <laughs> so I've not been able to do it, but there doesn't seem to be any new leaves coming in right now. Okay, that's a lie. On one of the plants there is a bulge but there's no leaf coming out and I'm, I'm not waiting again <laughs> this is it it's happening today okay so the plan today is I'm gonna chop this guy up I don't know into like how many pieces there are two plants in there there are some sections I do want to keep there are some that I'm planning on selling if you're interested in any monster albo kinds please let me know <laughs> I am gonna pop them up, I think in this video, and then we're gonna reorganize this space so that the Thai Monstera can sit here and so can the Monstera Albo cuttings. That's my plan anyway. I hope it goes to plan. We shall see. Let's get going with the chopping. I feel like I should actually just show you what it's actually looking like from the side because from the front it looks okay but um let me just show you hang on so this is it from the front looks pretty good right but then when i bring you around to the side <laughs> the pole is completely completely wonky leaning forward and this one this is one plant this is one that has the like bulge here where a new leaf's going to come in this one's completely off of the pole. This other plant here is about to be off of the pole. It's just, <laughs> it's looking ridiculous. I cannot wait to have this moved. Okay, let's get chopping. This bit's gonna take me the longest. <laughs> She says right before making the first cut without really thinking about it. It started! As per usual, I'm not prepared and I'm just gonna have to put these on the floor. <laughs> Where is this aerial route going? I've only been filming for like just about eight minutes and I've already hit a bit of a hiccup <laughs> just because there's some sections that I'm struggling to part with <laughs> which wasn't the plan I was supposed to be really ruthless and chop I'm gonna show you what I've chopped off already and talk you through it a little bit and then I'm gonna show you what's left on the plant so this is what I've chopped off already um, some of them are individual nodes like you can see here some of them have two on them this one is four and it has one big green leaf which you can see but the next one that came out of it was this beautiful one and i quite like the way it's growing so considering keeping that together and then this is what it's looking like so this top section isn't actually attached, I've chopped it, see, but there is this aerial root that goes all the way into the pot and it is rooted in there so I didn't want to like take it out, take it off of the pole and then just let it kind of like dangle there so I've just kind of re it 
Um, I really like this section. So it's got this leaf, this leaf, and this leaf on it, which has probably been one of my favorites the whole time. So I was gonna try and keep that together. But then, so there's the two plants. Look at this, look at the stem. Like how beautiful is that? Um, there's one section like this one. So it's kind of like this, these leaves here that I'd be happy to part with. And then there's this one, this side that I would rather like to keep if I can. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's just figuring out how to do that. This one's got a really good example of what old thrips damage looks like. Can you see that? It's kind of like rusting almost and it's really dusty, but. <laughs> so yeah, I wasn't planning on being this caught up already. I think what I'm gonna do is move the Monstera and get the setup that I had envisioned for the tie and then see kind of what what's what I'm just worried that <laughs> I'm worried that by the end of this what I'm gonna have is the tie time on the tie constellation in a new home and then the elbow without a home because that's that was not the plan <laughs> but I'm gonna get on with that it's really hot in here I might have to open the window which means noisy for you so sorry about that Okay, I've got the tie in place. I feel like she looks okay. I definitely need to repot and like re-strap her um, to kind of get her positioned a bit better. But I mean, she definitely looks better than when she's just been like sat on the floor without her home. So <laughs> now I need to figure out what to do with all these elbow cuttings. What I was thinking is this is a, this is just a wheelie cart from Ikea. I'll have it linked below, but I've got like several different kind of jars and vessels. And I was gonna put the cuttings in there and root them like I did my my big green one. Um, yeah, so that was what I was thinking, but I, I think I'm not gonna have enough space. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of put them in there obviously not potted up but I'm just gonna put them in there to like position them and see what they look like. And that was when I stopped recording. I got really fed up <laughs> with the whole situation. I was like half in the mood to do that, like chopping up and half not. Like I just wanted it to be a simple chop, 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 pot up and be done. And it was just turning not, not into that. So I stopped recording and finished the task kind of off camera, which I am really sorry that you didn't get to see it all, but it was a bit haphazard anyway. But I'm gonna show you today what what everything is looking like now. Just to begin with, look at the weather. I mean, to be fair, there's some blue sky right now, but it has been like torrential rain all morning. It is absolutely hammering it down. It's so grim and it's so windy. <sighs> Gross. It's July, gang. July. <sighs> Anyway, regardless of the weather, this is what this setup is looking like. So I've got my Thai Monstera here and I'm really enjoying it sat here. I This new leaf, just look at that new leaf. Isn't that stunning? It's so, so beautiful. 
this leaf was the leaf before it and you can see that it's got like some browning tips i think that's because it got cold it was kind of sat in like the wind um not in the window but in in the breeze of the window at night and it had gotten quite cold at night and i just i think that's what that is i probably should just chop it off i've tried to encourage it to turn around but it's uh it's not playing my game it came out and faced the wall when it was on my um on my cabinet thing so it's it obviously just likes facing walls um what else have i got here so i've moved my philodendron burly marks here which I've kind of been neglecting a little bit as you can tell by how dusty it is but it's got some really really pretty leaves like look at that one so cute so I'm going to try and love it a little bit more put it in a bit more of a visual space I've also got my variegated pilea down there which is just a uh, haphazard and then I've got this um i mean it's like a storage container for like cereal normally with some moss in it and i can't remember how many cuttings there are in here but there's a few some more variegated some less variegated this is just the green leaf because i did end up chopping it off so it's not attached to a node and then here i've got some more elbow cuttings I am going to sell a lot of these so they will be linked look how pretty this one is look how pretty and I did actually pot up some of the propagations that I wanted to keep so I'm going to show you those now okay and here is the sections that I'm wanting to keep oh that leaf's a bit folded excuse this wire it's for the for the aircon unit um so this is <laughs> two pots so i've got a tall pot here and <laughs> this pot here which i smashed honestly i've been so clumsy with glass lately i just i mean i, I mean i just touched it basically i just touched it and <laughs> tugged on it a little bit to like pull it out to pick up and it just this one section absolutely smashed out um so i've taped it back up <laughs> i don't really know how i'm gonna water it um but i will need to put some water in there actually so i've put drainage layers well not drainage water reservoir layers in both of these vessels and i probably do need to actually put some water in them now i didn't at the time because the soil was quite moist still um but these are the sections i've got this is that leaf that's always been one of my favorites i just think the variegation on it is so beautiful it's got this one and this one that one there god they're still i need to clean them that was i was supposed to do that that's so dusty <laughs> this one and this one is stunning look at that like minty patch so beautiful and then oh hang on this one here which also has some nice minty patches and then this one at the top which I just I love this one so much so pretty so those are the bits I'm going to keep I have considered I think there's a couple of like individual node ones that I like and I kind of like the idea of having an individual node with a leaf potted up on my shelving unit so I might I might do that as well and uh this is how far I got <laughs> with the base so they're they're both still attached and potted up um I don't really know what I want to do with it um this was the one the side that I would like to keep if I was going to keep either of these and then this was the one that I was gonna either sell chop up sell or I have messaged um, my friend Katie to see if she wants one because so she's the tattoo artist that I've like traded plants for tattoos with before so I've got a voucher with her already for a tattoo and I was just I messaged her to see if she'd like this as well to see if I can get a little bit more of a tattoo <laughs> So that's it for today's video honestly i'm a little bit disappointed i am sorry that 
like the potting up portion of the video wasn't in it I mean I haven't really done anything with the like the cuttings on the shelf here because I'd run out of substrate like I actually need to get more substrate I can't do any more <laughs> repotting until I've got some more so they're just in moss at the moment um but like that's that's okay for the ones that I want to pass on but obviously if I'm gonna keep some I want to pop them up but yeah I am sorry I think I just started it like I said I was I was in the mood but I wasn't in the mood and I've really been struggling with like headaches and migraines this week and it's just it's just not been it's not been a good filming week so I mean yeah I'm sorry <laughs> but I I've done the task which I've been putting off for a really long time so I'm very glad to have done it the next big task that I'm wanting to do is to clean my cabinet and my shelves and to kind of reorganize them give them a bit of a refresh because they're not looking great so if you're interested in seeing that be sure to subscribe and make sure the bell notification is turned on so that you don't miss that video and i'll see you in my next one thanks for watching bye